Hey, what's going on YouTube? So as you all know, I'm seeing a new mental health counselor and she is amazing. She is pulling emotions out of me that no one has before. Like every time I see her just about, she gets me to crying. And I think that that's really healthy because I know I have a lot of stuff buried deep down inside of me that needs to come out. And so I, I feel that I'm on the right track with her. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video that I've posted because I've recorded some videos and then I just don't upload them. But anyway, I wanted to share this particularly today because during my session with her today, she brought something out that I think might be worth sharing with people. It's something that she says that I perhaps do subconsciously and I might not be the only one who does this. So this is for whoever else does this. So when I was talking to her, I was explaining like, and I sort of just mentioned it casually while discussing somebody else. And I'm like, he's conventionally attractive. Dudes are really attracted to him. But when it comes to me, I don't believe of myself as being conventionally attractive. I don't think that I am attractive. I, I don't think that people are that... And I, I don't want to say that I don't think that I'm attractive as if to imply that I think horribly of myself or have low self-esteem or anything like that. And I might. I might have some low self-esteem. But I do love myself. I do think that I am a worthy person. I've just, I just don't think of myself as conventionally attractive. Just because like dudes don't throw themselves at me as I've seen them throw themselves at some of my other friends. Anyway, so I know how that goes. And when I said that to her, she was like, really? And she said, why don't you think of yourself as conventionally attractive? And I was like, well, I don't know. I mean, just the way people respond to me. And then I said, well, maybe it's my personality <laughs> that turns people off. I don't know, whatever. But <clears throat> ultimately, what she said to me that I, I feel is worth sharing is she was like, you've had these few experiences in life where perhaps people were legitimately responding to you as somebody would when they're just not into you and they're just not attracted to you. And that's fine. People can have those feelings. But what it looks like you've done is you put up this block and Then when you go to see other people, you're operating from the standpoint of somebody with this block that's up. And she said, <clears throat> it's like you say to them, okay, you ask them one question and the first question, you're, you're expecting them to get it wrong. You're expecting them to end up in your bin with everybody else who thinks such and such about you, but it might, it not necessarily as many people as you think, but um, she's like, you go out with them, you ask this first question, and then they actually get it right, and you're like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. I'm expecting you to get it wrong, and prove to me that you're just like everybody else. But, okay, you got that right. 
And here's question number two. And then you, I ask question number two and it's, oh, well, you got that right also. Okay, hmm, all right. Well, how about question number three? Oh, you got it wrong. You're just like everybody else. And I'm doing that subconsciously in my mind. And that's how I'm like writing people off. And <clears throat> it's a mental block. And I shouldn't do that. And I need to work on not doing that and we'll go more in depth with that next week. I love her so much. She's wonderful. Like I said, she gets me to cry like almost every single week, but I, I love it. And um, one of the things she said, I was talking about online dating <laughs> and my struggles with online dating. And this is actually how we got on the subject of how attractive or not attractive I think I am. I was explaining how difficult online dating, the dating world can be, how rough it's been. And adding to that, the whole MS situation makes it a lot more difficult. I can't tell you how many dudes won't even meet me when I mention that. And I try to be upfront about it because it's my current reality that I'm working through. It's, it's difficult. I realize in retrospect that what I said actually represented that block, that very block that she was talking about. No, it's not correct that post MS diagnosis that nobody wants to meet me. That's not correct. And that no guys want anything to do with me. What I was doing right there was just grouping everybody in that box. My arms are so small. Just grouping everybody in that box when that's not true. Some people some people don't want anything to do with it, and I get that. And some people are cool with it, you know? It just, and maybe one day I'll do a video talking about the whole dating and MS or dating and a diagnosis situation. I like that title, dating and a diagnosis. Anyway, okay. And one of the things that she said to me, which I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And the way she put it, <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her. She, she said, I don't know if online dating is the way that you should be going about it. You know, I don't, I don't think that's, and she used this word, I don't think that's classy enough for you. And I'm like, ah! Classy enough for me, and just the fact that she used that term, whether or not it is, because I, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with web dating. I've met some really wonderful people on web dating. I met Kevin on web dating, so I'm not the. Uh, I don't think I'm too good for web dating, but I like what she said in that she was like, maybe you should just go about it differently, you know, perhaps meeting people through real world life experiences. And I'm like, well, I work from home, so it's not like I interact with my coworkers or anything like that. And then I thought about it and I was like, oh, well, I guess I could maybe start trying to do like some different meetups and see what that's like and see who I meet. And one of the things that she said, which I believe is so true, is she was like, I think if you had a 
strong and perhaps larger circle of friends, you wouldn't, I'm just being honest about my situation. She's like, you wouldn't want a relationship as much. And I thought that was really interesting because I know when I, there was a brief period of time when I was like 24, 25, that I actually did kind of have a bunch of friends. At least I had a bunch of people around me and we would all hang out and stuff like that. And during that time period, dating was like the last thing on my mind. And I think that that's, I think she might have a point, you know? And I, I do have my best friends, two of them. And, you know, like they're wonderful, they're wonderful. We just don't hang out all of the time. But going back to when I was 24 and I was around that group of people, like we all lived in the same part of town. We all used to go out together and all of that stuff. And I just was not concerned about dating. And it's interesting because it kind of reminds me of my other counselor, the other good one. I And he was great but even he doesn't compare to her. I love her. Thank you, counselor. Thank you. But um, when he was like, I think that what you're looking for in a man is basically the kind of connection partnership that you had with your mom. So like, that's why I really need to go into the mom files with my counselor, because that is something that really, I really need to work out. Um, because of course, my mom's passed away and that was very difficult for me. Um, but anyway, so yes, when I had the large circle of friends, I really didn't care about dating. Like it was secondary or tertiary at best, you know? Anyway, so I just wanted to share that. Make sure not to put up a mental block. Don't count, don't be as quick to count somebody off and just group them with everybody else just because they get question three wrong or something like that. You know, I hope that this helped somebody. I don't know. Yeah, don't play yourself, but don't don't play yourself by throwing yourself at somebody who absolutely doesn't want you, but don't play yourself by writing somebody off who might. Talk to y'all later, YouTube. Peace. Be blessed. <laughs>